Robbie joins us. Uh, Robbie, well, that's a kick in the teeth. Final couple of seconds, and we've lost the game that neither side deserved to lose. What's your thoughts? Um, well, I thought we deserved to win. I mean, I must admit, I mean, yeah, I thought we'd done enough in the second half. I think we had a couple of clear cut chances um, to, to win the game, personally. I mean, they might say differently, but. Um, yeah, it's very frustrating, but it, you know we, we're at a situation where now we we know what the situation is in terms of we know our frailties. And one thing you can say, and every every supporter, if they've got the honest with themselves, the lads put in a massive shift today. They tried the hardest, and unfortunately, at the minute, we ain't good enough. We ain't good enough to be in the top in the playoffs, in my opinion. And because we've got frailties in the team, and I think anybody supporter-wise, mm. I've asked the players, and their players, the players know that we've got frailties in our team, and um, that's the unfortunate thing. But we, we, we have to keep going. We have to um, keep smiling. If, if you say, and you know, one thing as a coach, I remind you, you all you ask for is commitment, and they give it 110 percent, not 100 percent. But we, we, we just lack in certain areas at the minute, and um, you know, we need, we need to address them. Hopefully we can do that. If we can't, then we, we've got to try and make the players that are currently here better than what they are. The Rocks obviously bouncing back from the poor performance against Worthing. They've still lost. How do you pick the lads up after that result today? Because it was a good performance from Bogner. Yeah, I think the two things that are key on that question is the first game against Worthing was, was very frustrating and very disappointing in many ways because we hadn't played a game in 18 days mm -hmm. and we'd had probably three training sessions because of what happens at this level you're, you're allowed to have and that took its toll. Now, I've got no problem in saying that Worthing were very good on the day but if we'd have played three games in 18 days, which we obviously we, we could have mm -hmm. um, and we'd have trained, they might have beat us 4-5-1, I don't know but all I'm saying is when you know every single player on the Worthing game is off the pace, mm -hmm. that must probably tell you something that you know, that 18 days probably took its toll. And today, today, I, d I don't think that was the issue. I just think we didn't have enough, um, yeah, we didn't have enough going forward. We didn't have enough, certainly defensively. Mm. And, um, you know, that's come later as losing 2 1. But, you know, even Dan Smith has a great chance when Craney heads the ball back, mm. which not on another day, Dan scores. And then we've had a couple of chances off the crossbar. Aaron's nearly scored one off the line. Mm. You know, we've had we've had really good chances, in my opinion, to win the game when we should have won the game, but, you know, we haven't. Why did the Rocks concede the goal in the last couple of seconds? Because we haven't been good enough defensively, it's as simple as that. Um, yeah, listen, from their point of view, they might say it's a great finish, but we, we should be closing the ball down a lot quicker. Um, and it's it always a case, you know, when you've, you've just missed a chance right on 90 minutes and a chance like we did, you'd always... Mm -hmm know that when they get a corner in the 91st and 92nd minute, mm. you know something can happen. And I think it just summed the day up and I think it summed the week up for us that he scored a goal like that. I need to ask you about the save the Margate keepers pulled off. I don't really, I, I'm not a habit of praising opposition in interviews, but that was a world-class save, Robbie. What was your take from, on that? From Brad. From from Bradley, yeah the, yeah, the the save of the game from the Margate keeper. Yeah, believe it or not, Lee, I don't, listen, we all have opinions. I think it's an easy save to make. Personally, I think it's straight down his throat. I think he's come out to stand. I think, and really in a situation like that, Brad's got to have more confidence, more more composure, because he can do two things. He can either square it to Dan Smith, who's got a tap in, or he can go around the keeper and just tap it in himself. And I think it was, don't get me wrong, he's rushed out well, and he has saved it well, but I think it's a nice height for him, the pace he has. He only has to just stand in the way of it. So, um, if you asked me, if you'd have asked me against Worthing, the lad who's made the save off Dan Smith's header, no, that was a world-class save. So. Um, yeah, I just, I think it's just pro probably first half our decision making in the final third was poor, and um, second half it sort of improved a little bit. We had a couple more chances, but we were just bitterly disappointed. And how pleased are you that it's Harvey White who's got the goal today from close range? But you've got to be there in the right place to score them. Yeah, no, Harvey. Yeah, Harvey's been fantastic, and um, you know he, he he was struggling against Worthing, so he, we had to. Make a decision to bring him off, and today, I think you've seen he, 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 he was, you know, running everywhere, and for him to get a goal was nice. But it's just disappointing. It's just a sucker punch that we, we've lost again. Um, you were talking about frailties in the team. What specifically? Uh, sort of your well, frailties at the minute? Would I, you say? I don't. 
when I'm always honest, I'm always honest in the um, post-match interviews, and I don't want to go into you know certain situations because I don't think it's fair. Um, but I think anybody watching the game probably would know that where we we str do struggle and do lack, and it's, that's not just being a, a cop out. I just think it's yeah. the right the right answer to give you, yeah. you know. So um, yeah, so that that is my. Do you think point. you can, like you're saying, that you hopefully you make the plays you got better if you mm. can't improve the squad can you still get into that playoff picture then you know can you still push well, I, think on any, still? I, I think anything's possible isn't it and, and we have to do we, it's not it's not me saying that you know i don't want to improve players because i feel we can improve players mm. um but it's for us to push on to be in that top five or top six we we must um we need a better squad uh, that's just you know and and, and it's not very, it's not easy to get players in the likes of Joe Cook, you know, you've seen Joe Cook go back now and he's playing for Haven, he's getting MOM nearly every yeah. every game. So, you know, we, we were fought very fortunate on that. And it's, it, it's not easy, it's not easy to bring to bring players in um, of the standard we've got and better. So we've got to understand that and and to be fair, we it's not easy. Yeah. And I mean, you were saying earlier on that um, Sometimes your decision making maybe wasn't the best, wasn't it? Because you had a lot of good, yeah. you worked it wide, and you yeah, didn't yeah. pick players out. It was more just thinking them in a bit or yeah. whatever. Yeah, or just or hitting the first man, or yeah. not having the composure, just to, to stand one up maybe, or yeah. to pick pull put a pull back out there. We just seem to get in there, and we seem to rush our decisions. And you know, the best teams and the best players at any level in the final third make the right decisions, and they show that composure. And um, we didn't show enough of that. Even though I do feel, I always try and be honest in my interviews. Mm. I do actually feel we deserve to win the game. Mm. But I mean, listen, that's the way it goes. I and mean, we haven't had one of them this season. Yeah. We've had a couple go our way. So it's just you know, football is a habit of striking you when you're down, and it struck us again. So you know, but listen, sometimes it makes players stronger. And, yeah. it, and if they don't, unfortunately, they don't. They don't learn from it because it's obviously a bitter pill to swallow. You know, you have feel it in my stomach, and I wasn't out there. You know, so. Um, hopefully we learn from that and, and we get better. You get a week off now, then, don't you? Which is probably not what yeah. you want. You'd probably have, rather have a midweek, would you? At the Lions? Yeah, I mean, obviously we'll have the players in for training, but we, we, we've got another game, obviously next Saturday at Leatherhead away, which mm. you, you know they're flying at the minute, so that's going to be a very difficult game. Um, even though we beat them, here four was it four nil? Um, mm. you know, they still at times give us a real handful, and the scoreline probably didn't deserve what they should have got out of the game in terms of mm. the. Excuse me, the result, but it's, we know it's going to be a difficult game. Every every game's difficult, and we've just got to pick ourselves up. One player, sorry, one player that stood out for me today uh, because of the way that he's bounced back is Keaton Wood. Keaton didn't miss anything today, and I said in commentary, the good players bounce back from an occasional mistake. What do you make of that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, yes, yeah, it, for him to, you know, like you say, for not having a game for 18 days is very difficult, and. Um, it's just, uh, you know, it's just a bitter, bitter um, pill to swallow when you lose. Lee, to be honest, it's 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 not a nice feeling. Does the Leatherhead game that you've just talked about take on more significance now in the manner of today's result? Not really, not really. I don't mean that. Rashly, as as I think it's, I'm very much with the, with the fans in terms of you know you're just a little bit like a little bit flat and. Mm. You know, we we'll we'll get up for the game, and um, we'll, we'll see where we go. But we know it's going to be a very difficult game, and if and if we're not on our metal, which at times we weren't today, mm. we'll get extremely punished. Not punished, we'll get extremely punished next week because they've they've got some very quick and very um, mm. very good centre forwards. Well, Robbie, as always, thank you very much. Cheers, Lee. Cheers, Cheers Robbie. Thank you. Thank you.